Hello there, internet. Mogwai here, and I got another Legends of Runeterra video for you guys today. And today we got episode number two of Mentally 12-Year-Old Reacting to Champions in a Card Game. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> That's gonna be like the title for, for the series, as we're gonna be talking about the new, I would assume, Ionia Champion reveal in Lulu. I know yesterday a lot of you guys were freaking out a little bit because I went on this weird tangent saying how it was gonna be Zoe who is supposed to be a Targon uh, champion, because I saw some comments on Twitter, and I honestly just <laughs> kind of like went with that. Uh, I was also very confused because we were seeing, we were looking at a bunch of like critters who were Ionia creatures, right? You know, including your boy Swole Squirrel. And I didn't really know or understand, maybe like, I thought that maybe Zoe was, uh, could potentially be an Ionia champion as well, but then I saw in my comments, I had like, I had like a thousand comments, literally a thousand comments, tell me it's Lulu, not Zoe, Miguel. So I, I got the memo, you know, I, I go back on what I said. I, I am, uh, you know, learning more and more about lore as I go by, but I'm, I'm still a League of Legends lore noob. Just keep that in mind, right? Though I think I've come a long way. Regardless, we got a new champion here, and I don't know why I'm talking so much. Like, I should just be opening the video and getting onto this because I really want to know what Lulu does. And I may have to lower the volume a little bit. Okay. Let's place it like this. All right, looks good. Let's do this. Here I am, wherever here is. Okay, let's, let's before anything. <laughs> here I am, wherever here is. What is he doing to this poor squirrel? Oh, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. This is the lolly of League of Legends. <laughs> like, I had somebody who references a while back in one of my streams, and I thought it was uh, very appropriate. And uh, yeah, get some Fs in the comments for this squirrel right here. Poor, poor little guy. Definitely not a soul squirrel right there. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, a three drop. Lulu, three mana, two, three, support. My supported ally grows up to 4-4 four, four this round. To level up, our allies have been supported three or more times. That's a super, super easy level up requirement. And this is like really interesting. For example, with Flame Chompers, it's like a suit up effect. It's basically a suit up effect. That's that's, that's definitely not what I'm, I mean, I guess it, it's... I don't know much about this champion, but I, I guess it makes sense because he's transforming stuff, right? And it's basically a, 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 a suit-up effect on, on support. So she comes in, you attack with like, like... Like I said, I'm thinking about Flame Chompers. Like, I'm already thinking about Lulu with Piltover. And, uh, you know, the Zero Two Flame Chompers with Challenger. Like, obviously, like, weak units with uh, strong keywords here can just be modified and be apply a lot of pressure. Especially in the early to mid game, which is when Lulu comes in. I really like this ability. I think this is a, a really cool ability. There's a lot of neat ideas already, and like I said, her level up requirement, that is easy peasy. So I really want to see what she does when she levels up. Me too. I mean, as you guys can see, they're pairing her with uh, a beef leather tracker, which is also really good. Whoa, what is that? Totally what is incoming. Wait, what is this? Embiggen allies and squirrelize foes. Transform a follower into a 1-1 one, one squirrel and silence it this round. What does silence mean? What does si does silence mean that you, you like take away all of the keywords or, or something? Dude, this is like this is like uh we've seen this type of removal in card games again and again. You basically use this on a huge unit, and this in a way could be the new will of Ionia. Especially because it's burr speed, but it's only for one round, which means that you have to deal with <laughs> Force Quarrel, man, my heart. But that means you have to deal with it that turn as well. That's a cool, that's a very cool design. I, I, I was definitely expecting a card like this to be made eventually, right? Yeah, that's so cute! Yeah, yeah, silence. Okay, so, okay, so silence is just like taking away all the keywords and all the text. Like, basically, you turn whatever it is. You turn the unit into a 1-1 one, one, uh, for that turn, which means that you need to either pair Lulu with challengers or ping effects to be able to actually uh, eliminate that. But 
Uh, I really want to see the, the level up. Thing. That seemed yeah. an adorable spell, just like you showed me, Lulu. Go pick! You fly on, you cute little smush ball! Okay, whoa, whoa. Round start, create a fleeting help picks in hand. All right, I don't know what that is. Support, my support ally grows up to 5-5. Five, five. All right, so her support ability just upgrades slightly, but I really want to know what the help, it, it, was that the, no, that's not the, per, the prior uh, spell was different, right? Okay. Give an ally barrier or an enemy vulnerable this round can't be cast in combat or response to a spell. So the same limitations to gems. Which means that if you're, like, you actually, like, you have to do this proactively, right? You can't react. Because otherwise, you know, one mana barrier, <laughs> it's, it's just, like, really powerful. But this can be used to, like, take that. This also helps in case you have challengers. Because you have a champion that relies on support, giving an enemy vulnerable, being able to do this at burst speed before you attack, and then giving something 5-5 five, five to slam onto that vulnerable unit is really, really neat. That's actually really cool. I really like that card. Hey. I, I, I like this champion design a lot. You just give barrier as well to get a free attack too. Why why did she wait wait why did she What why why didn't uh, the support effect happen before? That's what I'm trying to ask here. Like, if I... Yeah, wh why Why did this not happen here? Why, why is there no support here? I'm confused. Am I missing something? He should have supported... He should have turned the, the uh, tracker into a 5-5, five five, right? Nani! I'm, I'm a little bit confused here. Maybe... Maybe it's like some weird bug or something? Yeah, now you give it vulnerable, you drag it to this soul squirrel. It's gonna, gonna go up to like eight, right? Yeah. <laughs> nice. 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 I, I, I like Lulu a lot. Very, very cool design. Like, I, I love the round start effect as well. I love how easy it is to level her up too, because it's not like she's like, she becomes like super busted or anything. I, I like her stat line a lot. I think it's very fair too. It makes her just resilient enough, and I'm I'm just a big fan, man. I I really like this card. Let's take a look at the at the actual um at the actual Twitter. Let's take a look at the cards here. All right, we got the hell picks that we generate. Uh, is this like an? No, no, it's not an actual card. Otherwise, it would have a gem down there. Uh, Whimsies is also not. Wait, this is not a card. Oh, it says Lulu's Whimsy. Maybe it's because it's Lulu's spell, but it, it should it should be Whimsy. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused. Is this like an actual card or is it not? <laughs> we got the score. Oh my god, dude. Oh, that's so that's so perfect. We got the picks, uh, which is the actual card because of the gem right there. Support. Oh, a one mana support. Oh, wow. Give my support ally plus two plus one this round. That's a lot, dude. But it's temporary, and as it picks attacks, you can be blocked as well. But if you pair this with like ch early game challengers, that's like really good. Fey guide grant an ally elusive a play effect for four mana three three. I mean, that's that's pretty all right. That's nothing too crazy. Of course, more elusive tools for Ionia, but. Uh, that's fine because it's not like it's not even something that you're gonna see, per, uh, you know, precisely on like an all-in elusive deck, right? And then a two mana two three uh, with overwhelm, just uh, another you know keyword added onto a vanilla two three body for two mana. Nothing too spectacular here, but I, I do like the art as well. And yeah, I mean overall, I, I I like Lulu quite a bit. I really really like her design. I like the suit up effect. I'm a big fan of this. Like this could see play in. Like casino like decks. Like I said, I keep thinking about flame chompers because it's just the best combination. Just imagine imagine going for like a rummage, discarding your flame chompers, and then attacking with Lulu and making it a 4-4. Like that is just so much value and tempo at the same time, and it's ridiculous. And it's so it's so easy to level her up as well. That this is like 
really good utility. This health picks can just be, it's flexible, it can be used as removal. I'm, I'm actually like really excited to build around Lulu. Like I, there's like several region combinations that I already have in mind with this champion. And there's probably like way more that I'm not even thinking about right now, but I really, really like this design. And yeah, I mean, it, it, it gets, it gets five sparkles out of five sparkles for me. Let, let, let's use that as a measurement. Big fan of the, uh, I was going to say the, the low lolly, but uh, maybe I should call that one. <laughs> Regardless, uh, you know, shout outs to Lulu. I really like it. I really like the, the card designs. Some of these uh, followers seem a little bit underwhelming though. Like I, I'm not sure what to think about Fae Guide. Maybe I'm, I'm underestimating it, but I think I, I would rather resort to Sunpork's map or even Ghost rather. Than, than Fae Guide, even though you are granting and you are getting a body on top of this, so maybe I am underestimating it, and maybe this card ends up being better, especially, I mean, no, because map is, is burst speed, so it's more practical in a pinch as well. I, I'm not too sold on Fae Guide, uh, Guide. I'm also not too sold on Pix, even though it has a, like, it's a one mana support, which is really neat, especially if you want to level up uh, certain champions quicker, but it is also incredibly frail, and unless you're packing a bunch of challengers, I don't think it's really worth it. Uh, Startled Stomper is not much to say about it. I mean, it's it's from Targon. Keep in mind, this card is from Targon, not from Ionia. And I mean, a two mana two three with Overwhelm. It's a it's a very nice support. Even though I, I think Challenger is better for these support targets than than Overwhelm itself, especially in the early game like that. I'd, I'd rather take a Challenger over a unit with Overwhelm. But you know, it can be decent in some decks with buffs. You know, with Taric as well, like, you can push a lot of damage with the Star Stomper. It can be decent. I mean, it does have a, uh, you know, average stat line of a 2-3, which is really neat. But I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not too sold on it either just yet. Uh, it, it depends on what decks you want to put it in for. But like I said, I think support works much better with Challenger. I think that's what you really want to be pairing this with. Especially the likes of Lulu. I think Lulu has to be in a deck with Challengers. Either Demacia or, like I said, Piltover with the Flame Chompers. Just low-cost Challengers that you can just, you know... Buff like a 4 4 challenger in the mid game is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. There's so many things you can like trade favorably in true, and there's so many uh like threats. Like, for example, even even like five drops, like the Neverglade Collector against Shadow Owls, you can take down really well with this. So, I I really I think it's a really strong ability. I think this is a really good card, and that's basically all I gotta say. I kind of went on a, a little bit of a ramble there with Lulu, but I, I really like it. I really, really like it. Uh, I was a little bit more excited for Tarek because Tarek's ability is pretty bonkers. But this champ I think this champion can very easily be at that competitive level. I think uh, Lulu can be really great, right? In the right deck. She comes in really early. And, you know, the help picks is just such a neat, neat card to be getting every single round. Like, flexible cards like this that are so cheap as well. You can also, like, use it as a cantrip. Like, if you're playing uh, her with, like, Piltover and Zon, you can use this uh, as a way to just get an extra discard outlet for Rummage, for example. And, uh, you know, the uh, Zana Yurkin or or the Sun Dredger. So, I, I think... I'm, I'm, I'm thinking a lot about, you know, Ionia Piltover with Lulu. That's, that's where I'm seeing her right now. You know, even though... The problem is, like, access to other challengers besides Flame Chomper, right? But it just it just seems so neat. I, I, I really got to look into that. Regardless, that's basically it. I, I better be random from this point onwards. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about Lulu. Uh, what combinations that I have not mentioned. Any, any sort of cool ideas in the comment section down below. Have a soul day. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Actually, no. I won't see you guys tomorrow. Because tomorrow I'm going to be with my parents. Because uh, they asked me to uh, visit them for like a family event and stuff, but I'll be back at it on Sunday with a reaction to the next champion and also a bit of an analysis on the cards that will be announced tomorrow as well. So yeah, have a great one. Uh, we'll be back on uh, regular streaming, by the way, uh, this incoming week onwards. Um, I wanted to like kind of like take a bit of a break before you know the actual expansion comes out. I was a bit burnt out with the game, but now that we got all these new uh, cards to talk about and everything, I want to get back on the grind and uh you know after that week you know the expansion comes out so it's gonna get pretty tight from uh next week onward so hope you guys are excited for that and that's all i gotta say have a soul day again thank you for watching i'll see you on sunday